Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today we will draw a hamster. We begin by sketching a rounded shape but slightly squashed, a sort of water drop shape. Then another similar one but bigger. We draw a midline for the face and also a guideline for the upper part of the eyes so that we draw them straight. Based on that, we can draw the little snout, like so, and the nose would be down here, very good. And the eyes would be up here, tilted, with a little bit like an almond shape, but more rounded. And slightly further up, the little mouse ears, actually, they should be here, and here. And I see that the nose should be higher, the snout shorter, because we are doing a hamster, not a mini elephant. <laughs> That's better. Hamsters seem to always want to have something to eat. So let's give him a snack, and we draw the shape of the little hands, the main shape first, and the feet. I lighten up some of the sketch lines, and now, with a black color pencil, we do the eyes. We fill them in, leaving a small reflection toward the top. Because their eyes are very lively. They have mischievous eyes. <laughs> okay, good. Now, with a mechanical pencil or with a pencil, let's render the fur. We do this with short strokes. And I'll switch to a slightly softer length. All right. We do this, as usual, in the direction in which we intend the fur to be, applying it in layers. And remember that on the snout, the hair is really short. And at the same time, of course, we do the shading. We have to take into account two things. One is the light and shadow produced by the shape, by the volume of the beast. <laughs> and the other are the changes of tone of the fur. Like he may have spots, blotches or areas, which may be darker or lighter or of a different color. So we work on rendering some of these changes. And we draw the funny little feet, like so. And the cast shadow. All right. I actually wanted to say very good, excellent, but truly I'm not liking very much his right hand. I think it is a bit too low and it looks strange. So after drawing his whiskers and shading these areas slightly to give the proper volume and tone, I'm going to fix it. I dab with the kneaded eraser. I use this because a regular eraser can smear. Once most of the graphite is off, you can use another one to reinforce as needed. And then we redraw the hand and reestablish the area. Very good! Excellent! <laughs> it's ready! If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, share it to your friends, and subscribe to Fine Art Tips. And I will see you on Tuesday.